to uh, uh, power the Explorer and the uh, Instructor, they decided to re revamp the Meadows engine themselves uh, uh, to produce a petrol version. Right, and of course, uh, later on, and when you come into the 50s, uh, they standard standardized on the B-series uh, uh, Rolls-Royce, didn't they? Yeah. The B, uh, well, four, six, and eight cylinder version. Exactly that. The the the, the Rolls-Royce engine became uh, probably the by far the most common uh, petrol engine fitted in big army vehicles. As you say, John, uh, in uh, four, six, and eight cylinder versions, the four-cylinder one found its way into the Austin Champ. Uh, the, um, the six and the B60, which was a four and a half litre derivation of the car engine that crew were using at the time in cars such as the Bentley R-Type and the uh, uh, Silver Cloud and Bentley S1. Uh, that was reworked and detuned, if you like, and armified, and that got into a quite a lot of medium-sized vehicles. And then they had the eight cylinder version, the B80 uh, and the B81, which went into all sorts of large things uh, most notably, I think, we see in preservation the big Thornycrofts yes, uh, that yeah. uh, have survived I into preservation. And of course uh, the... Uh, Hello, Lily! Uh, and quite frankly, John, I think that what happened was that the Army replaced the logistical nightmare of trying to manage two fuels with a logistical nightmare of trying to shift enough petrol to anywhere where it was needed. Yes. Because these things are unbelievably uh, thirsty. But of course the other, the, the plus point of this was that the I believe in right, right, I'm right in saying that uh, pistons, gun rods, crankshafts, and their, uh, I mean, most of it was identical right the way through the range. So you didn't need, even if, whether it was a four cylinder or a six cylinder or whatever, you didn't. That's absolutely right. It, the standardization of the engine in its multi cylinder variations rather matched that that gardeners have been practicing for many years yeah. and was, was most exemplified by the LW series where you could have LWs and anything from virtually anything from one to eight cylinders uh, with just a variation of saying crankcase and crankshaft um, uh, for each different size of engine. Um, uh, the Rolls-Royce engine was quite interesting in the fact that it maintained the same dimensions of Royce's original six cylinder of 1922 for the 20 horsepower car uh, and they stuck with these dimensions which were four and a half inch stroke and 4.15 inch centre to centre of the bores right the way through until they discontinued. Uh, 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 oh, here we go. Here we go. It's the traffic jam. I just like to bring one point, John. I, I think I'm very happy to hear what you said. It's bothered yesterday about that particular jam, but there's an issue that you want to solve the problem. I'm not going to have a good jam up there. I'm pretty happy to have a good jam up there.